What's up guys? I'm Tynisa Nelson and guess what? It's Monday where we're going to talk about two of my favorite things, plants and wine. Every episode I look for your recommendations on $25 and under wine so that I can get drunk and talk about plants. So let's get this episode started. In this episode, I was actually recommended Seven Moons Wine. It's a red blend. Um, it's in California by one of my really good friends, Sheldon Shear. Check out his Insta handle in the description box below. And I'll also place the wine list in the description box below as well. But uh, the first thing that I noticed, guys, was that this cork was black. I've never seen a black cork. It's usually that brownish color. Um, but I really loved the crescent moon on the side. And uh, it also has a little saying, create change, carve a new path, which is pretty neat. Um, and I already opened it up and poured it so that I'm prepared and ready to start. Um, first thing, guys, as you guys may already know, I love, love, love red blends. Anything deep red. Um, one of my favorite sayings for beer is uh, the best beer is the kind you can't see through. It's the same for me with wine. Um, but I'm really excited to try this out, so let's get it going. That was a gulp. And holy smoke, Sheldon, this is, wow, this is really good. Um, I believe this wine was $11.99 at my local grocery store. And guys, this is super good. Like, it beats Mayomi. Mayomi, I think I rated it a 3.5 in a couple episodes ago. Um, this one right here, I would have to give it a 5. It's fantastic. I really enjoy this. Hold on, guys. This is great. Wow, that's fantastic. Thanks for the recommendation. So it's fitting guys, it's October, you know, a lot of things are around death and eerie things. Um, actually in this episode, we're gonna talk about how I killed my plant. I literally killed it within, I don't know, a few weeks. And this is why you don't go um, buying a plant without understanding a little bit about the plant before you purchase it. Um, I literally went to, I believe, the plant daddies, check them out, they're great, um, and got this and knew nothing about the plant, thought, hey, it would be just like all my other plants, water a little bit. No, that was not the case. Um, so here it is. I'm so embarrassed, but look how dead she is, guys. She's literally crusty. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my goodness, I literally, it looks like I didn't do anything for her. But I swear, I tried everything and it just didn't work. I placed her in different areas, light, um, but the biggest culprit, I think what happened was I overwatered her. Um, and that's what started the process for her to slowly die. I killed her. RIP, drink to that. I'm so, so sorry. So guys, the first tip that I will give you that you're going to notice that plants are usually starting to die because they're overwatered is they start to get that brown crispiness. Um, sometimes it's a little light, like they can still be movable and stuff. Um, but this one clearly hasn't had any water, but somehow her soil is still moist. I don't know what I did. I outside of the water thing, there's probably something else. There's probably um, where it's located, maybe even the temperature in my house. Um, I don't really know what pinpointed to, uh, is the culprit that killed this guy. So, um, but that's the number one thing that I can give you as a tip, guys, is if you see any little brown patches, that means you're overwatering her. Um, just to make sure that you come down a bit in the volume that you're putting in your plant, um, that may help you so that it doesn't end up looking like this. Oh, I gotta keep drinking. Again, thanks so much, Sheldon. This is fantastic. So guys, another way that you guys can notice how to not kill your plant like I did um, is to look at the growth. If you haven't had any new growth, if your plant is in the same spot when you bought it originally, like this guy, then that's also a sign. Um, especially when you've had it for a month like I did with this. I probably had it a little longer than a month because I got it uh, like in the middle of COVID when it first started. Um, but... Yeah, that's a good sign. I should have noticed it myself, um, but that's lesson learned, guys. Don't go and buy a plant without doing a little research and thinking that you can just prop it up on somewhere and that it would survive, because that's not the case here. Clearly, I fucked up. I'm a sad, sad, bad mom, plant mom, plant daddy, plant everything, right? So 
So sorry, I'm gonna try my hardest to try to revive her from the dead, RIP. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple tips on how to not kill your plant, cause it's a really sad thing when you go and spend 35, $40, I don't know how much this plant was, but it was enough. Um, and for it to die is pretty shitty. So guys, if you guys liked all of my recommendations and enjoyed me drinking, which I'm getting really warm, which means I'm getting drunk, um, then uh, click subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks so much, guys.